Hi, this is David with Straight to the Point Design, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Perspective Tool. Uh, perspective Tool gives you the ability to square up an image, uh, you know, whether it's a rectangle or a square. Um, you can obviously even do a lot of other creative things with the Perspective Tool. Uh, you know, a lot of people, if you have a building or something, uh, tall buildings obviously narrow as they go higher up. Uh, it's just the way the cameras take the pictures. Uh, the, the picture frame that I have here, uh, is one that, you know, is on a mantle and it just, you know, it, it leans on a, a stand. And so as you can tell, the top part is narrower than the bottom part. Well, the perspective tool gives you the ability to go ahead and make this square. Uh, so this is a great tool that I use all the time. So first what you would do is just go over to the ruler and you drag these lines over here. So these are uh, what you use uh, to help you uh, square up the image. So these are guides for you. So, you know, we'll do all four sides. And what you do then is after you put those in place, you can see the gap here, like the triangles that are created, uh, pretty significant. So if you hit the perspective tool, uh, which is like this square, and it shows it being dragged out uh, on the corners. This is the perspective tool. So you just click on that, click on the image, all right? And, you know, we'll have to use that a little bit later. Uh, when you're done, you have to hit the transform button. So looking at this, all you do is click in the image outside where you want it, and you can start dragging. So you see that the lines we're starting to fill, so that corner is filled. So now we got to pull on this side. Now it may, you may have to go back and forth a few times if you notice the other side, the original side that we just squared up, uh, is no longer perfectly square. So we'll go back and pull that a little bit again. And you can make things smaller, make things larger, a lot of different things you can do with this. So you know. All right. Well, that's good for what we're doing. And as you can tell, uh, everything, these yellow dotted lines here are the original overall image size. So you can see how far this had to get pulled out uh, to do that. So we've squared up the image. Now we just hit the transform button. And you can see the uh, this go as it's going along. When the perspective transformation is done, uh, you get rid of those lines, and you know the image has been uh, taken care of at this point. So, as you can see here, it's squared up. Uh, still have a little bit over here I'd like to clean up, so I, I can click on the image again and just pull that over. And I can hit transform again. And this time it'll be uh, more square. So it's just about done. So now you can see that's filled in. So what you can do is use the rectangle selection tool. And you now could actually select this area. Now you can get a sense for uh, some of what else you can do for that. you got to hit the selection tool. All right. So now you could just select this area here and go up to Image and crop the selection. And everything else is gone. So you now just have that's all that's left, and it's, you know, it's perfectly square. Uh, so uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, there's definitely a lot of different things you can do with this, the perspective tool. And as you saw a little bit earlier, if you click on this and you want to do some fun things, I mean, you can obviously really mess with the picture, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. But so the perspective tool lets you do a lot of really cool things. So hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, if you did, uh, please subscribe to the channel.
Uh, if there's a certain video you'd like to see on GIMP, please let us know. Uh, and one last thing is if you wanted to obviously save this, if you hit save or save as, it'll save it as a GIMP file. And if you hit export uh, as, you have the ability then to, you know, select whether it's a ping or a JPEG or a TIFF, whatever you want. So again, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.